relative happiness, meaning the individual being happy in this life, that experience only happens when you are doing something that's in alignment with your calling. That's when you're happy. When you're not doing that, when you're not being that, I'm not saying never to take a break, because uh, breaks can help you fuel, you know, put fuel in the car to go again to your course. So sometimes you have to put fuel in the car and be seemingly service to self, but now it's done within this great context of service to all. And your calling, it's in alignment with your calling. So anytime you feel really bad or just not so good for a long period of time, take a good hard look at your life and eliminate everything that's not conducive with your calling, that does not support your calling. Change it with something that does support your calling, and I promise you, your heart will open, your crown will open, source will flow through you. Love, creativity, fulfillment, connection, compassion, the capacity, the power to transcend challenges and heal will just come flooding in. It'll just flow through you. You don't even have to do anything. You're just being your calling. You're just beaming who you are and what you're all about. Mine is everything knowing it's the one infinite creator. This will build momentum, right? You become good at this. This is optimization. It's kind of like the Tim Ferriss stuff, you know, where you optimize your life and you optimize your life so that you don't have to do as much, but you gain as much as you can. It's kind of like that, but you do it spiritually with your calling and you focus only on the things that truly excite you, that you're passionate about, that make you light up. If you don't live that life as a human physical being, you're going to be causing yourself dis-ease, whether mental disease or physical disease. As Ra states, first the catalyst is given to the mental body complex. If it's not paid attention to, it's not understood, it's not transformed or utilized or listened to, it will be transferred into the physical complex, right? The physical body. Anyway, what, what will happen is first you take baby steps, right? This can take you like six months to two years to really transform all these elements in your life and make them in alignment with your calling. Ideally, every day you wake up and the very thing you have to do that day is directly causing people to experience whatever your calling is. Insert your calling. Because now you can't help but be happy when you wake up and you can't help but want to do the things. So for example, my life right now is so accelerated and fine-tuned in this way that Really to do anything for myself, I just, I get grumpy. Like anything, like a car ride that like I'm not actually creating something or I'm not like deepening my dissolution into God or I'm, anything that has not something directly to do with my calling makes me unhappy and frustrated. Just super quick. I don't do things for myself. I've learned I'm happiest when I don't do things for myself. And so this takes a little time to get adjusted to, but then you're really the vision and you become a mirror to everyone else because there's no need, there's no desire, there's no greed left in you. It's completely empty of ego. And now everyone that comes to you, you will literally feel their higher self utilize your mental and physical body to elicit speech, action, confirmation, radiance, whatever, however it needs to use your vehicles to exactly mirror where these people are at, plus a little bit more so that they can gain conscious knowledge of how they can grow more into who they are. So outwardly, you start to become like a mirror. Now, this is only if you really do this work every day, intensely, for months and years. Okay, but the result is that you're empty of self and you're just a walking hologram. You're just a ghost, but your body is just a ghost and it's used by God, by the infinite intelligence, because you're not in the way. You're not pondering how you can secure something for yourself which is a lack of faith. Would you agree? You needing anything is a lack of faith. You don't need anything. When that gets through to you, that's truly when service to others, can that percentage can ramp up. And all this stands or falls with to whatever degree you realize that literally everything is the one infinite creator. The one. You are that one. It takes time because you're so, you're so, we're so attached to this, right? Our life, our memory, our physical body.